say hi to the people. You wanna say hi to the people? You wanna say hi to the people? Say good morning, Bambi. Say good morning. But yeah, damn, you made my camera day. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everybody, I hope all you're doing is good. It's today. I literally just felt like vlogging today. So that's what we're gonna do. We got a little day in life. A little bit of you know, just vlogging at home. I wanted to get some stuff done today. It was actually supposed to be raining all day today, and looking outside, it's not raining. So what I'm gonna do is just hurry up and walk by me before I do start pouring for real because it was supposed to be storming all day and it's not. So I'm gonna take a break while I can. Like last night I went to bed, I was like, please don't be raining in the morning, but it's not raining right now. So we about to go walk here. And um, when I come back, we gonna pick right back up with the camera. That's good. Turn that bowl up. Literally finishing and went straight for your toy. Just ate. Can you give yourself a second to digest your food? This weekend, I originally planned to like film today, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I already woke up today with the intention of filming and stuff. And originally, I did want to go play ball, but that's gonna have to wait because it's really about to start pouring for real. But um, we did just walk Bambi and stuff. She finally, like, she did eat and everything like that. And um, I just wanted to film, like, literally, I just wanted to film, call us a little day in the life. I don't know. However, it's titled, is how it's gonna be titled, but just know that I am gonna be recording. I've been trying to like build better habits, especially cause like, <laughs> your boy ain't working and I definitely don't get paid from YouTube. Yeah, I've been trying to build better habits. So I like, especially while being home and stuff like that. Like I try to continue to get up every day at eight, especially to deal with this one. Mainly like during the week. So I've just been trying to stay productive, just doing something, whether it be editing or, you know, getting up a video for you guys, or even just something like in terms of personal stuff, like just making sure that I get up and wash my face and like obviously like shower but just like the self-care maintenance and type of stuff because when you kind of let that kind of routine go that's when like everything else goes so if i even don't feel like doing anything for the day i at least try to you know keep up with my face routine and stuff like that and just create like good habits that's pretty much what i'm trying to say is that i've just been trying to build good habits so real quick what we're about to do is um i would do want to stretch a little bit that's one thing i did want to start honestly implementing so i'm i'm saying that here on camera so that way like i, I i'm making it known that i do want to start stretching so rj when you when you're watching this you better start stretching like every single morning well not every single morning but do your best to try to step to stretch don't forget the push-ups It's hard. Today though, what I actually did want to try to do for real, for real, is make a smoothie like, I don't know about y'all, but like in the mornings, I personally cannot just wake up and eat like a five course meal. Like, you gonna have to give me a few hours <laughs> before I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna go eat. I don't know how some people do it. Like some people really just wake up and eat over it. And personally, I really cannot do that. Like, <laughs> my stomach will not let it happen. Like, I, I just don't be hungry in the morning, but I do want to keep like my energy levels up and stuff like that. So especially if I'm gonna be up doing stuff, like I don't wanna just not eat for the morning. But I also at the same time wanted to make a little healthier. So what I decided to do was to start making smoothies because it's just fruit blended and I'ma drink it. And then if anything, like when I actually do figure out like how to really make smoothies and stuff like that, cause I, like I said, I've never done it before, but I can add like the protein stuff in it and stuff like that. And that way it'll give me everything I need without actually having to eat a breakfast meal or something like that all the time which would probably like make my stomach hurt. So what we're about to do is throw back on my clothes 
and run to the grocery store and hopefully find the ingredients that we need to make this smoothie because like i said i ain't never did it before so we're gonna be doing it together on camera so um yeah let's go do that so we're here in the grocery store i think what i want to put in it to be honest oh no let me get away from this music i think personally what i want to make is like a banana strawberry smoothie oh i got some bananas any one of these is pretty cool to be honest because then i could just slice these up right i mean they say 89 so they better be 89 so, so we got these in the basket and then we just need like a few strawberries and why is this like seven dollars, bro? Like seven dollars. Uh, I'm gonna get the ones in the back right there. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, he's kind of dingy. Let me get the back. Let me get the back. That's black people, you know. We gotta get to the back. We got that in there. All right, so we're gonna try to find now. It's some. Um, like I know I got milk upstairs and stuff like that, but I want to see if I can find maybe some like some almond milk or something like that. See the thing is that like I don't really care for milk like that, like regular white milk. But I know people put milk or water in their smoothies, and I feel like milk would make it slap better. I don't know if I want to use the milk I got upstairs or if I want to get almond milk. I'll probably just stick with the milk I got upstairs for right now, and then maybe throughout the week. I'll get um, some almond milk, maybe. I wanted to see if they have like any granola little pieces or something I can throw in there. What the heck is a cereal? Let me go find a cereal. Every time I'm in a grocery store now, and I especially see like, bro, y'all like, remember when I was packing out all this stuff at the grocery store I was working at? It feels so weird being in a, in a grocery store because it's like, I, I know what y'all be doing. Like, I really know what y'all be doing. Like, literally, I used to touch like all these kinds of TVs. That's so crazy to me. Like, this is my bag right here. Because we ain't paying for it. Do I really want to be putting mixed oats in it? Probably not. So, what we're going to do is go pay. I was literally doing what homeboy back there doing. Literally, I was doing that, my boy. I understand, my boy. Brett, freezing is crazy. So, I ended up spending about like $10. Got a bunch of bananas. But this was two dollars. All of this right here was two dollars. And this was seven. So we just got some bananas and strawberries. And we gonna attempt to make that smoothie I was talking about. Y'all. So this the bad boy working with right here. This is my mom. I know we had it for a while. I don't really know how to use none of these buttons. I'm not even gonna lie. But we gonna cut it some fruit. Throw it in here. Y'all see I got the light. My phone and the camera. So that way, y'all can see me. Yeah, we about to make some, make a smoothie because I'm hungry and my stomach kind of hurt. So let's cut up this fruit and get the blended. <laughs> strawberries in there and cut them up and stuff like that so we about to put on the top and blend it and see how it come out so let's go do that make sure it's good and in because if this makes a mess i'm gonna be mad So we finished blending it. This is how it came out. It's not really, really too bad. It looks good. Like it literally looks like the things you'd be getting from like McDonald's or something. So first set, let's go.
Tastes like string. Mm. It's really banana -y, but it's good, so. Honestly, I rate it. Consistency is cool and all that, but I feel like it's missing something, like something. I, I like thicker smoothies rather than just like some juice, but I put a banana and four strawberries, but this is my first time making a smoothie, so that's, but it's kind of cool that I just did that for real, cause, but gotta wash this out and wash up the dishes that I made and stuff like that and put all the fruit back. But after I do that, I'm gonna catch up, so. Just finished the smoothie and stuff like that. It was actually kind of good. If anything, I probably next time just want to figure out how to make it a little bit more sweet. My dad said to try adding apples, so maybe I might do that um, in tomorrow or just sometime later on in the week. But I want to talk about this book that I'm reading, uh, The Untethered Soul. This book has been extremely helpful, and I know I've shown it here on my channel before, but chapter, I guess, that I just read uh, is the ninth chapter. It's called Removing Your Thorns. Well, Removing Your Inner Thorn basically just pretty much talked about like any of those type of difficulties or disturbances or whatever that you feel like you have personally deep down if this cuts off it's because my camera died don't worry i'm gonna switch it out yeah basically any of those kinds of disturbances or difficulties that you feel like you have deep down personal life i'm talking about like since you were a child like all of those things do stay in your life i'm gonna give the analogy that they give imagine you have a thorn in your arm right every and that thorn is connected to a nerve that thorn is touched your arm is gonna hurt so what do you do you try to protect you try to protect yourself whatever it is that may stimulate that thorn ideally your instinct should be to just remove it but naturally human instinct is to protect so what do you do you conform all these kinds of ways so that like let's say you create something that covers a thorn now whether somebody hits it it's not gonna hurt you think you solved it but what you're doing is just creating like a facade not a facade but like you're creating this this overall shield this defense it still pertains to that thorn like you're, you're gonna think that you solved your issue or i.e the thorn you solved your issue da, 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 but all you did really was just protect it and mask it and hide it and surround it when you keep doing that that unhealthy habit of not really focusing or directly solving what those true issues are the rest of your life and anything that you do after that is only gonna always gonna revolve around that issue whether you really believe it or not another example they gave is say if you're a very extremely lonely person which is extremely natural and you could be completely fine you was like i'm never gonna talk to nobody ever again so that way you don't have to worry well let's say you surround yourself with millions of people da, 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 da. that way you don't ever have to worry about being lonely and you're just sitting down one day watching the show and a couple's on TV, and now you feel that kind of, you know what I mean? So you thought you were okay because you're always going out, partying, I'm never lonely, da, 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 but once you sat down in your own mind and you turned on that TV and seen just a simple couple, or you went out and you went to the store and you seen somebody holding hands, or you seen somebody, get, and that triggers that emotion on the inside, that's because you didn't necessarily solve it, but you tried protecting it. And again, obviously, it would be best if you just took it out, because if I took out that thorn out of my out of my arm, if you try to hit that, that it's not gonna hurt me because I took it out instead of trying to protect it and, or do whatever. Um, I don't know, this chapter was just really, like this book is just really, really good. I'm about like, maybe about halfway, almost halfway. I don't know, yucker. It's, it's pretty much about like halfway, but I, I really do recommend this book. Um, I know I'm gonna tell my girlfriend to read this for sure when I'm done with it. And um, I know she's got some books that she wanna put me onto. And I'll, in general, I just wanna like read more often. I think now, what I'm gonna do since I got a little bit of reading out the way. If you finish this smoothie, I'm probably gonna wash this out and then probably just relax for a little bit. 
Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this little video again. I'm just trying to vlog. Like, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got my own goals. We going up. I'm going to talk to you guys in the next clip. And I probably should change up this battery so that way it don't die on us during this video. It was but it was literally supposed to be storming all day and now it's sunny. I could have went to go play basketball, I got thought. Huh? Or, or be at the park. You're right. You're right. You're smart. It was a little while later and um, I'm actually about to go to the store. Because I wanted to do chores and clean the bathroom and stuff like that. So I'm dragging my sister along with me to go to Family Dollar. So we can go get some stuff that we need. In a ride. Who are you barking at? I didn't say bite me. Get off me, bro. That's why you're not going outside. Bambi. Bambi, go eat. Stop. What? What's bed? wrong with you? Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Thank you, Bambi. Go to your bed. Thank you. Go to your bed. 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 That's that. Talking about, come on, let's go. She in the bathroom. Bam, you want a treat? What you want? That one? That one? Got, see what we got. We got the, we got the, we got Swiffer, Swiffer stuff. We got wipes, contact solution. Look, look at your spoon stuff, man. Pine saw, another thing. Oh, they had soap. soap. Yeah, and then uh, the wipes and then your cereal that you are gonna force us to eat. <laughs> There's the fruity things that she bought. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Man, I'm about to do chores. in there sweating. I was just jamming the music and stuff. I didn't want to put all of it in it because I feel like that would be boring. Like it's pretty self-explanatory. I just cleaned the bathroom. Yeah, I'm done with that. So what I'm gonna do now is cool off for a second. Yeah, just kind of relax for a second. I'm really mad that it's like really bright outside. Like, like that's crazy. Like you see how bright that was just now? Exactly. It was supposed to be storming all day. It's cool though. What else did I have to do? Hold on. Yes, I pretty much kind of completed everything I had on my list. I mean, like, so I made this list, like, last night, um, and obviously we wasn't able to do this right here because it, it was raining this morning, well, like, it was supposed, I don't know, that's whatever, but everything else we kind of completed already, well, we just finished chores, so we can do that, and then I only put exciter just in case I wanted to do other stuff. Today, I did want to make it a point to journal and just write some stuff, that, you know, just, that was just on my mind, like, I kind of consistent with journaling and stuff and I've done a pretty good job like I started on the beginning beginning of this month and the month's about to pretty much is over like August flew by and um, I'm doing really good so pat on the back for me I'm about to cool off and relax and I'm gonna see you guys once I actually do get my journal and stuff like that but yeah
So yeah, I just pretty much wrote like a little gist of what, pretty much what I talked about earlier when I was reading my book. Cause I wanted to jot down some notes that I took from the book today. And I'm not a person who annotates my physical books cause I like to keep them like how they, I don't know. That's just, I don't, I don't want to mess this up. So instead of just thinking about it and letting it go, I actually chose today to write about it. And that's what I did here. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty much the last thing I wanted to do on the list. Like, I know I got this chair over here. Yeah, yeah, I know the chair I'm talking about. That I'm gonna clean off um, later off camera. Like, y'all don't gotta worry about that. It's really crazy that it's sunny outside because, like I said, I was gonna go play basketball. But we'll save that for another day. That's no problem. I'm just proud of myself. I literally got everything that I wanted to do today done. Everything is checked off, etc. It doesn't count, obviously, but everything is checked off. And that's literally what I set out to do. So it's about like. 326 right now in the afternoon I have the complete rest of the day to myself which feels good because like sometimes you wake up at 1 um, or you just wake up later on in the afternoon and then you know so I'm not gonna lie personally sometimes I will roll out of bed right now at like 326 I've been trying to break that habit for um, the past month or so well just try to break those kinds of habits that i don't want to keep like i don't i want to wake up early. i like being up early because nobody be up because I, I like that because i don't want to be dealing with mad people outside and stuff like that and then it's quiet and i can just do what i do so i'm, I'm definitely I, I will keep doing this um and as much as like you want to be like oh i can or i will or i know i should like unless there's obviously something that's genuinely stopping like genuinely stopping you you kind of can like i could have chose to go back to sleep this morning like i haven't slept since eight at eight this morning and i could have chose to go back to sleep and just like oh, i'll put this off or whatever but i didn't because i i got personal goals and i'm trying to hold myself accountable and um, stay consistent disciplined and all that but that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i hope this motivates you to get something done today i hope this motivates you to keep working hard or you know hit a certain goal that you reach in i hope you guys are having an amazing day whenever you're watching this wherever you're watching this and i love you guys shout out to all y'all for liking commenting and subscribing i love y'all for real my name is rj and i'm out Peace. see you in the next video okay bye